So StreamYard is at it again. <laughs> they have released uh, a feature update that this video is going to cover. We're going to look at the ability to upload uh, screen uh, grabs out, better yet, pictures, images, uh, different kinds of files. They call it image sharing, right? And you can see on their announcement page uh, that what it looks like, what the graphic looks like. It says it's available in all plans, JPEGs, PNGs, GIFs, and more. Uh, you can share them directly into your broadcast by simply going to that middle screen, middle bar on the bottom, go to present. And then after you go to present, you go to image file and that's going to bring up your desktop. You bring up your computer. I already have one, so I'm going to hit cancel there. And you can see I can switch between all the different formats uh, that a screen share would give you. This is pretty clutch and uh, answers some questions. I'm going to give you some more details and actually go step by step into how to do it in the full video. Let's dive in. So here we are on the desktop looking at StreamYard and I'm already inside the studio. What I wanted to highlight here real quick first is some of the limitations. Now, just to FYI, I am on the free plan. This is the free plan that I'm um, using today. I wanted to showcase it in the way that many of you would see this because several of you have mentioned that you're on the free plan. So here we're on the free plan and you can see uh, when I go here to media assets, that's this tab that I'm on right now, media assets, I can upload overlays, right? If I hover over this um, question mark next to the overlay icon, you'll see that it says uh, recommended size 1280 by 720, max file size is 20 meg or three meg GIFs. And for those that understand the file formats, that's pretty small and that's where the challenge is. So we could go ahead and upload stuff here, but think about this for a second. You can't actually upload overlays um, as a, as on the free plan, you can't upload overlays on the free plan. You can't upload intro videos or any of that stuff on the free plan. <laughs> you can't even upload a background right on the free plan. It is automatically going to come back and say to you, Hey, uh, you want to upgrade to the uh, other version. So in the free plan, you couldn't actually utilize the built-in feature. Many of you who have the, some of the paid subscriptions, you have the ability to upload in all, all of these places, but on the free plan, you do not. And so the addition of being able to come here where it says present down here in the middle of the uh, bottom of your window here, you have this added ability to do a image file. So you can do an image file now and you can select a image file. Um, I'm going to select a thumbnail that I did. Uh, let's see if I can. Oh, here we go. There we go. Incubator's couch. Boom. We select that. It drops right in here to the bottom here. Here's another thing that you can do. You can go select yet another image file. Let's see if I can find one that was uh, there we go. There we go. Let's do another file here. Um, boom. We select that. You can see that both of them are there in the middle bottom or, or I should say down next to my camera. So here, if I add my camera to the stage, this is what it looks like. I've just got my top down shot set up here. I've got so if I add my camera to the stage uh, to the program window, right, this is what people are going to be able to see. Um, I can still manipulate that camera in different ways to be able to showcase what that looks like. But when I add a image, now you can see it, it automatically switches to the screen layout image, right? I can uh, go over to this layout as well and um, showcase myself and the image in a smaller view. I can actually do picture in picture. So you have that there as well. Um, and I can actually add another image. Now you can only add one image at a time, right? So if you wanted to, you want to be able to switch between images, this could be really useful for my free plan folks who have been, you know, trying to utilize this and figuring out ways to get graphics into your live stream. Um, you can just simply select the regular background or the bubble or sorry, blue waves background, swap between your images that you've already loaded. Um, you can actually upload pr presentations as well if you have them. So there's a lot of different ways to be able to utilize um, this present feature uh, that we have here inside of StreamYard. 
So you have, let me, let me upload a presentation real quick and you'll see that this is a whole presentation. You can use it to upload presentations, upload video files, play video files locally from your computer, I should say. So let's go here, let's do a video file. Uh, so now we're gonna go look for a video file. Just find one very quickly. Here is one, <laughs> uh, there's, I'm, I'll, I'll do the shorter of the two. And so now I have a video file here at the bottom. So for my free plan folks, just keep that in mind, right? Not only am I able to do images, right? I'm actually able to do a presentation. Look, I'm going to go to picture in picture on this and kind of go through my presentation. That is pretty clutch that I can do that. And I can shift the presentation into different formats so that the viewer can see it in different ways. Your, your audience can see it in different ways. Uh, then in addition, I can actually play a video. So now you can see that the video is playing here. I'm going to mute that real quick, but you can see the video is playing again, similar functionality. You can play the video in any of these ways uh, with picture in picture. And then of course, full screen. So essentially what they've done is they've really increased the ability of those who are utilizing the free plan by giving us the ability to add image files from your local computer. So if you're on a free plan, you can e essentially use this to, uh, enhance your live streams. You can use this to add graphics and different things. Maybe not in the background. Uh, you'll still have that StreamYard logo in the top, but you will be able to use this to enhance your live streams with graphics, with pictures, with presentations, with videos that you can't necessarily upload to the studio. This is kind of a moving away. What I think StreamYard is doing is essentially saying, you know, the storage space is for those who are paying. <laughs> Whereas if you're going to just utilize the platform on a free plan, then what we're giving you is the ability to use use all the functionality, but you have to use it you, with the, the w using the assets from your local computer. And so, if you get good at organizing that, that could be something really good as well. I want to say share this, man. If you are interested in Streamyard training or coaching, please hit us up kirkarnugent.live slash book me. We've got multiple different ways to be able to serve you. Half hour and full hour sessions are available. And then lastly, I want to say, man, if you are looking for more ways to utilize the StreamYard free plan, um, you want to check out this video right here, right? <laughs> right here, we're going to be talking about different ways to maximize the use of the StreamYard free plan. Um, and of course, you would want to add what I've shared in this video to what's going to be in that video. And when you click over in this video right here to see what I'm talking about uh, related to the StreamYard free plan, you will see me over there and we will get started. Grace and peace, fam. Be blessed. See you in the next one. <laughs>